Hello everyone, this is Game Frost. In today's video, what I'm going to be talking about today is this. Three days ago, Google Play Console um, has sent me an email saying that my developer account is at risk of being closed because it's not being used. And what that means is that I haven't posted anything on on the Google Play developer um, site or since the time that I basically paid for it and that was like what $25 and you're wondering what is this video about basically this video is about making a game before the deadline which is March 30th of 2024 and what I aim to do is to make a mobile game now I was trying to motivate myself to make a game for quite some time and I've tried various different engines and I just couldn't get that spark you know I've always had these wild ideas of you know the games and even the dream games that I was thinking about doing but I wanted to start something small and with this you know I was thinking that maybe starting with a mobile game would be the simplest start like yeah it wouldn't make any sense to make a mobile game in the mobile market like you have no chance but that's the point you know I want to make a game that is not only simple but something that could be as a learning tool for me so that once I gradually get better you know I could make experiences to the point where maybe just maybe I could post the game on Steam one day so what I was going to do I'm I never done a devlog before but I was actually thinking about making a, a small little series where I go through this journey of making a game now the funny thing is is that I don't know how to make music I don't know art I don't even know programming uh, I don't even know the ins and outs of a game engine you know I'm just a regular dude that just plays games all day but I love games okay I really do even though I don't platinum them <laughs> but I really do love games and I always play them like almost every day you know the thing is is that I, I wonder how I'm going to start like I it's funny because I had uh, I had Godot if you don't know what Godot is Godot is this game engine that is getting really really popular now obviously this game engine has been around for some time but it, it, it recently gotten popular because of the fact that um, Unity decided to mess up and if you don't know what the Unity situation was well it's like I think they did something stupid with their uh, policies and everybody got very angry rightfully so and you know unity was like oh wait well, we can definitely reverse this but it's already too late the you know the damage is already done okay so with Godot um, it's basically a game engine that's great for for beginners um, you know it has almost everything that you could do to make a game you know as simple as it may be um, it also have you know certain programming languages I think it has C++ um, and it also has um, what they call it the visual scripting so you know the visual scripting in Unreal Engine well yeah it has that as well so I was thinking that maybe I could deal with spaghetti code you can see with Godot it has like this you know visual scripting thing which looks very cool you know it looks very streamlined as well you know with Godot can do a lot of things and you know I wasn't really motivated you know just like when people would you know use blender right the beginners would use blender and then for whatever reason they see a cube and they're like yo okay how can I change this cube into something that I, I would like it to be and it just doesn't work and then they just quit blender immediately and you know they never use the software again and the same the same goes for me because I, I remember trying to use other game engines like RPG Maker um, back then and it was an interesting experience because I actually tried to make something out of RPG Maker yeah I was using the assets that were given but it was interesting to uh, to make you know the game adding little enemies here and there and try to make the world like yeah the game was extremely incomplete I didn't I didn't I never really thought of finishing the game so it was like like two stages and I made a demo and I sent it to my friends you know they they had it fun I remember trying to port it to to my Android phone one time and it was just interesting albeit slow but it was something the same goes for Godot now this engine I really really tried to to make something out of it I just couldn't and because of that, I, I, I just lost this sense of uh, being committed to it, you know, trying to 
make ends meet. Like, I don't know, my mindset was like, I can, I can definitely make this game, you know, as quick as possible, which is always not true. You know, you, you always got to practice, you know, you always got to, you know, just do it little by little, you know, learn as you go, right? But I think what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to use this Google Play, you know, email, uh, literally, as a, mo as a primary motivator to make my first mobile game before the deadline. You're wondering, what is this mobile game? I was thinking about making some kind of vertical side scroller um, where you basically just dodge objects and you reach the end goal. Now that could change, you know, it could just be like an endless side scroller. Um, but I do think that having like a little, you know, end goal would probably be a little bit better. Um, I don't know how many stages I was thinking about making, but I just want to make it happen. I, I want to make it because there's no way I'm going to be wasting $25 and just leaving this you know developer account here then again you know this is kind of like a, a little like call to me saying that hey man you know you're not doing anything you better make something before we shut it down i never knew that uh google could do that but i mean yeah they have a reputation of shutting down things so that's a given right so if you guys have any tips and suggestions you know of what i should start with you know what i should do um you know i i would greatly appreciate that honestly i don't want to be in some kind of you know tutorial spiral where you know i'm just stuck in tutorials because i i've been there you know there i i've seen you know an hour long tutorials and i still couldn't make a game it's funny but it's just true and, I, and there's a lot of people that just be like hey man don't watch too much tutorials now okay on the next video um i'll be a little bit motivated to continue and make a game we're gonna we're gonna just find some sites planning i don't even know how to plan for these things so figure out a way to make maybe like um the background or you know a menu you know so i'll try my hardest and hopefully you'll be there to you know help me and of course support me on this journey so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one